Well, good morning. Welcome to Thought for the Day. I think I probably mentioned here before that one of my uh, long-term projects, um, something I've been working on for seven or eight years now, has been to read the whole of the, the New Testament in Greek, in, in its original language. Um, this, this is the one, I'm, uh, the Greek Bible that I'm using. And as I, again, I think I've mentioned, I'm very close to the end. I am, as you can see there in the Apocalypsus uh, Johannoi, the Apocalypse of John, uh, the book of Re Revelation, this vision that uh, Jesus' best friend John was given as he was in exile on the island of Patmos. I'm about two thirds of the way, way through, the, through Revelation really very very close to the end and and I, I I do love the book of Revelation I think many people find it a bit hard and a lot of very strange things have been done with it a lot of uh, nonsense to be honest has been written about it over the years but as you as I read it and I re come back to reading it again at the moment it's a book with incredible hope here, here is God has given Jesus has given his best friend a vision of really what of really the rest of the rest of the, the the life of the world and it's a message of hope it's a message that one day there will be a time when there's no more crying or death or pain or sorrow uh, and it's a message that also is honest about how hard it is on the way through that even though there is going to be that day on the way through there are going to be hard times there are going to be some very very difficult times uh, and the reason is, as the book of Revelation reveals, that there is a real spiritual battle for the hearts and souls of humankind. For your, there is a battle for, for yours and for my heart. Where are we going to, what are we going to do with our hearts? And the message of Revelation is that in the end, God wins. In the end, Jesus wins. Jesus will defeat the one who is trying to win our hearts and so we are encouraged really to to keep going to 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 keep trusting him even even when all sorts of difficult troubling worrying frightening things happen the encouragement of the book of revelation is god wins keep going and that and the heart issue all the way through this book and to be honest, throughout, throughout, throughout the whole of the Bible, is the question of what you worship. You may think it's a bit of a, a strange question given all the other problems in the world with, with disease and economics and, and all the rest of it. Why is, what, why is what you worship? Why is what we worship so important? Uh, and that it is because what you worship, what you effectively put your trust in, what you regard as the one, who, the thing that's going to save you, the thing that's going to make you happy, the thing that's going to uh, keep you secure. Whatever, what you choose to put your trust in for that will have a control over you, have incredible control over you. It will in fact be able to steer your life. Uh, that's why uh, the, the, the great companies of the world encourage us to put our trust in their brand. If you, if you love Apple devices, if you love your, your iPhone, Apple want you not to love just the, the phone that you've got. They want you to love the concept. And if you love that concept, then that gives, us, gives them a control because they can bring out a new ver version and you long for it. And you will give your hard-earned money to buy it. I'm, I was, and the more, the, the deeper these desires get inside us, the more control they have over us. I was reminded, as I was thinking about today, of a children's story I read uh, many years ago. It's a story about the time when uh, the, the port of London was plagued with rats. Uh, and uh, the authorities were saying, how can we get rid of it? They tried all normal means. And so they, they in the way of a story, they, they in the story, they, they uh, issued a, a competition. Who can help us? Get rid of, get rid of the rats, and some reward, sort of some money, and probably the, the Lord Mayor's daughter in marriage, or something. The way children's stories go, for the one who could get rid of the rats, and various people entered, and 
they, they tried various ways, ways of catching them, uh, all sorts of traps and so on. They put traps all over the place, but uh, the king of the rats was too clever. Uh, if some of the rats started getting caught in traps, he heard about it, it was reported back to him, and he issued an edict, don't go near those traps. So they tried uh, seducing them. They, t they put poison with in very, in very attractive uh, looking flavoured syrups and biscuits and things. Uh, and some of the rats started eating them and and then they, then they started to die of the poison. But of course the word got back to the king of the rats and the king of the rats said, oh, don't, don't go anywhere near those, those, those biscuits. And the rat survived. And then the, the, the hero of the story, as happens in these, it's always the third one, isn't it? Uh, said, I've got an idea. And he had lots of biscuits made with iron filings in, the bits of iron in them. Very nice biscuits designed to taste exactly the way rats, rats like them. And the, uh, the rats saw these and they reported back to the king of the rats and he was a bit suspicious, but he, he let a few of the rats uh, eat them and didn't seem to do, do them any harm. And so they put out, and so they put out more biscuits, and the rats said, "Oh, this looks pretty good." And they carried on eating the rats, and eventually the king of the rats said, "I think I'll I'll try one myself." And so he was given one. He thought, oh, "They're really nice. I, I get me to get me some more of those." And this went on for a while, until one day the person who had this idea brought his uh, plan to conclusion. He set up an enormous, enormous electromagnet. I'm sure in real real life this this wouldn't work, but in the story, and you turned on the on the on the magnet, and all these rats, all these rats with the the iron in their and the iron inside them were drawn into the to the magnet. I think it issued an edict beforehand that that uh, no one was to wear anything with iron on, and then metal things would be belted down. And one person who had hobnail boots on was nearly nearly dragged in, but managed to get the boots off in time. And the plan succeeded. The rats were all taken in and the port of London was freed of its plague of rats. And the hero, I think, got his, his reward and probably the, uh, the hand of the Lord Mayor's daughter in marriage. It's a children's, children's story. But the point is that the thing that we, that we put our trust in, the thing that we just feed ourselves with day by day, actually has a control over us. It's not that we shouldn't eat, but it's the thing we we live for, the thing we spend time thinking about, the thing we think, yeah, if we can get a bit more of that, everything will be all right. I think many people think uh, religion is a bit like that. That's why people, I think, are suspicious of coming to church. Well, if I, if I come to church, they'll, they'll get me hooked in. And of course, any man-made religion does uh, face that that does run that danger, run that risk. I would be very wary of going to, to anything that is, that is man-made. But the, what I'm doing by reading the New Testament, I believe is doing something that's not man-made. And I'm reading, as I read the New Testament day by day, I'm reading the account of the one who didn't have a, an evil motive, the one who didn't have a self-serving motive in selling us things or getting us to to give him power because he gave up everything for our sake all other heroes in the end end up to be fallen heroes to be to be and uh, not to be all that they seem we've seen that in the fall from grace of leaders in the public sphere haven't we even in these last few days but Jesus gave up absolutely everything for us, is the real thing through and through. And that's why I'm going to carry on reading the, the book that comes, comes from him, the book that points me to him, the, the book that encourage, encourages me to put my trust in him. So that when the final day comes on and the, the magnets are switched on, I will be drawn to him and not to any of the other uh, schemes that are out to to lure me in. May God bless you through today.